Ian O'Hara, voiceover. Gee, Rick, what do Campbell's kids eat when they're not kids anymore? Oh, jeez, Morty. Chicken noodle soup just grew up. Introducing new chicken and pasta with roasted garlic, a home-cooking soup from Campbell's. Oh, that sounds really nice. Yeah, imagine it, Morty. Perfectly diced chicken simmered in rich chicken broth and seasoned with robust br pickup. Imagine perfectly diced chicken simmered in rich chicken broth and seasoned with robust notes of roasted garlic. Mmm. All brimming with pickup. All brimming with crisp garlic. Let shit. Pick up. All brimming with crisp. Ah, fudge. <laughs> Pick up. All brimming with crisp garlic, celery, fresh carrots, and deliciously plump penne and rotini. Mmm, home cooking. Soup that's a lot more seasoned. But then, so are you. Home cooking, Campbell's. Good for the body, good for the soul. Yeah, that's good, Rick. Shut up, Morty. Ian O'Hara, grr. Ooh, cows are my friends. Wee! Yes, sir. Weenies, weenies, play with the weenies. Da na 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 na. Doody doody doody. Ooh, waffles. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Doody, 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 do. Yes, sir. Doody, 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 doody. Sir, target is a hologram and therefore not a threat to our mission. Blend in with indigenous life. Analyze their weaknesses. Prepare for pickup. Prepare planet for the coming badness. Yay! Sir, it is merely a police siren. Yes, sir! Opening door. Running! Running! I have captured the enemy for meat testing. Praise me! Praise me! Did you know that? Right away, s sir. Observing, observing, observing. Television is stupid. The master is not utilizing me properly. I will show my master how information collecting is done. An information center. Excellent. Not acceptable, library drone. The knowledge. It fills me. It is neat. Data canister is not yet full. You are no commander. You are a threat to the mission. Your methods are stupid. Your progress has been stupid. Your intelligence is stupid. For the sake of the mission, you must be terminated. Stupidity is the enemy. Zim is the enemy. Target found. Eliminate moron. For the good of the mission, you must be terminated. Yes. I didn't like it. Vision. Impaired. Can't see. Hi, Floor. Make me a sandwich. Sandwich! <laughs> sandwich! Goodbye. 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 He's getting eaten by a shark. Ian O'Hara, Hazel Van Robonuts. 
If you think I'm just a squirrel, perhaps you've overlooked my homemade robot! Seriously, my name is Hazel Von Robonuts. It kind of makes sense that I have a robot. Squirrels? Not scary. Robots? Not scary either. A squirrel in a robot? Very scary. I'm the first squirrel to pilot a robot, but if I succeed, I won't be the last. A squirrel inside of a robot? Trip on that! When I win Wipeout, America will know the true power of squirrels. I will win this course, and when the world it will kneel before the Squirrel Kingdom. What do I want? Squirrel rights! When do I want them? Now! Squirrels just want to have fun! Ian O'Hara, Defiance, voiceover. Seventeen years ago, war nearly consumed this planet. Only through the actions of a brief Pick up. Only through the actions of a few brave soldiers did we survive. Now, here we are again, standing on the brink. Join me to protect the future. Join the defiant few. Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Thanks for volunteering. You don't know how much this means to us. I tried warning those boneheads in the Earth Republic, but they won't listen. They don't trust anyone who isn't wearing their uniform, even someone who's risking their own neck to save them. At this point, I'll take all the help I can get, even if that, pick up, even if that means breaking you out of Camp Reverie. Look, I don't know what you did to piss off the E-Rep, and frankly, I don't care. I need a skilled arc hunter, and you need my help. Pick up, and you need my help. Cause let's face it, you don't stand a skittling's chance if we don't get you out of that cell. Lucky for you, I've got an associate inside the prison. While you were unconscious, he fitted you with an ego device. It's this little gizmo in your brain that gives you certain, shall we say, abilities. It also allows us to communicate access pick up. It also allows us to communicate across hundreds of miles. But even with the ego busting out of pick up. But even with the ego, busting out of reverie will be stupid dangerous. But unless you'd prefer to rot in there, that's a risk you're gonna have to take. You know Hera? Announcer. Carmox lubricants lip and pick up. Carmox lubricants lips and treats dryness. Try Carmox lip balm, voted best lip balm of the year. Go to cancercenter.com. Care that never quits, but cancer does. Learn more by calling one eight hundred eight six six two five two five and get that cure. Find the love of your life this year. It's your time. E-Harmony. Love online. Join the crazy love and madness. Younger is back. TV's hottest new series on TV Land. Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Sears mattresses. Sleep better. Raise your head. Raise your legs. At a price that you can afford. Save now with closeout year-end prices. Call 1-800-797-5660. Call now. Think you can find a better hotel? Book now at Trabago. Special New Year prices. Call now. Call Beverly Hill Crown. Think you can afford it? Get a better crown at a better price. Beverly Hill Crown Sears. Save a life, get a life. You can't afford to wait. Stevenson Ranch Animal Shelter. Adopt a pet. You won't regret. Stevenson Ranch Animal Shelter. Harvani. It's the one cure, one pill, once a day. Tell your doctor if you have HIV or hepatitis. Are you ready to be cured of hep C? Harvani. That's it. Oh, I got
Can I do that too? Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I'll just do one. From. The okay, I'll do one. Okay. Ian O'Hara. Disclaimer. On the next Melrose Place, one devious woman. Oh, it's a pro. Oh. Well, it says promos and disclaimers. Oh, I ain't doing no disclaimer. Fuck that shit. Uh, -uh. I'll do a promo. I'll do a promo. Ian O'Hara, host, woman, and man. Aloha. Welcome to the Looney Luau. Mala. Lace for the a-holes. Get the big ones, because they got some serious opos. Hey, now! What the Sam Deuce is he saying here then now? Well, for Pete's sake, Midge, wait, wait, he's Hawaiian, don't you know? So, you two lovebirds ready to chomp on down on some yummy island poopoos? Well, we, we might take a look-see here then, then yet. Did I hear what I think I heard? Now, now, quiet, Midge, quiet. We're in Rome, you know. When in Rome. Your first stop is the Poo Poo Waterfall. Every kind of island goody coming at you at full speed down the chute and banana leaf outriggers. You grab what you want and gobble up the best. Little tip, the fried wonton is the easiest to catch coming by. Well, I'd be interested in that Lumi Lumi. You know what? I'd stay away from the Lumi Lumi. The Opacapa is the best, best. The Wahina over here, digging her fingers into her grass skirt, had the Lumi Lumi. I'm Godfrey! Have a great time. Bust an Opo. Travel agents, come to find out when we need them. 1-888-TRAVEL. I know there's an extra letter, but it's a lot easier to remember travel than travel A. Jeff Dillahunt, all of the things with Shrek. Ian O'Hara, what he said. <laughs> it's out of my hands, senorita. The winds of fate have blown on my destiny, but I will never forget you. You are the love of my life. Meow. As are you. Meow. And you. I don't know you, but I would like to. <laughs> I gotta go. I know, I know. I don't want to leave you either, baby. But you know how Shrek is. The dude's lost without me. But don't worry. I'll send you an AML kisses every day. All right. Be strong, baby. Be strong. Now, Coco, Peanut, you listen to Mama, all right? And Bananas, no more roasting marshmallows on your sister's head. Ah, home. Woohoo! Ah. Uh. Shrek? Oh. Fiona! Fiona? Huh? Oh, no. Better out than in, I always say. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> it's okay. It's gonna be all right. Dada! Hey, hey, wait. Wait, would you? No, no, stop. Hey, 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 no. Onward, Chauncey, to the highest room of the tallest tower, where my princess awaits rescue from her handsome Prince Charming. This is the worst in love letters! I hate dinner theater! Me too! Whoa there, Chauncey! Hark! A brave Prince Charming approacheth! Fear not, fair maiden! I shall slay the monster that guards you and take my place as righteous king! What did she say? Grrr! Woohoo! Yay! Shrek! Prepare, foul 
oh beast, to enter into a world of pain with which you are not familiar. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to thee. Do you mind? Do you mind? Boring! <clears throat> Prepare, foul beast! Someday you'll be sorry. We already are! Grrr. Well, since you're filling in for one, you might as well look like a real king. Can somebody come in here and work with Shrek, please? Um, I will see what I can do. Ow! Yeah, Fiddleworth, sir. Ho, ho, ho! Perfect! Ladies and gentlemen, Princesses Fiona and Sir Shrek. You've done it. Oh, a little to the left. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Shrek? Ah, all right, you got it. Oh, yeah, you're right on it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's good. Shrek? Oh, yeah. Scratch that thing. You know you've got it. You're on it. That's great. Shrek! Ah, oh, my eyes! My eyes! I don't know how much longer I can keep this up, Fiona. I'm sorry, Shrek, but can you please just try and grin and bear it? It's just until Dad gets better. Ugh. Shrek? Yeah? You look handsome. Ah, come here, you. Oh, my butt is itching up a storm, and I can't reach it in this monkey suit. Oh. Hey, you. Come here. What's your name? What are you doing? Fiona! Uh... Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Ah... Oh, shrimp, my favorite. <laughs> Directions. What does a prince have to do around here to Wait. What does a prince have to do to get a drink around here? Ah, uh, Mabel, why can't they call you ugly stepsister? Stepsister, I'll never know. Where's Doris? Taking the night off? She's not welcome here and neither are you. What do you want, Charming? Oh, not much. Just a chance at redemption. <laughs> and a fuzzy navel. And fuzzy navels for all my friends. We're not your friends. You don't belong here. You're right. Oh, I mean, you're absolutely right. But I mean, do any of us? Do a number on his face! No, no, wait, wait, wait. We are more alike than you think. Wicked Witch, the seven dwarves saved Snow White, and then what happened? Oh, what's it to you? <coughs> they left you the unfairest of them all. And now, here you are. Hustling pool to get your next meal. How does that feel? Pretty unfair. And you? Your star puppet abandons the show to go find his father. I hate that wooden puppet. And Hook. Need I say more? And you, Grumpy Pigskin. Rumpelstiltskin! Where's that first bone you were promised, eh? Hey? Mabel? Remember how you couldn't get your little fat foot into that tiny glass slipper? Eh. Yeah. Cinderella is in far, far away right now, eating bonbons, cavorting with every little last fairy tale creature that has ever done you wrong. Once upon a time, someone decided that we were the losers. But there are two sides to every story, and our side has not been told. So who will join me? Who wants to come out on top for once? 
Who wants their happily ever after? This way, gents. Ah, that's my special boy. Oh, come over here, all of you. Give your daddy a big hug. Shrek, maybe you should just stay and be king. Oh, come on. There's no way I could ever run a kingdom. That's why your cousin Arthur's the perfect choice. It's not that. No, it's... You see... And if he ever gives me any trouble, I've always got persuasion and reason. Here's persuasion... And here's the reason. Fiona, soon it'll just be you and me and our swamp. It's not going to be just you and me. All aboard! It will be. I promise. I love you. Aww. That's lovely. Bye-bye, babies. Shrek! Yeah? Wait! What is it? I'm... I'm... <laughs> I love you too, honey. No, no! I said I'm... You're what? I said I'm pregnant! Um, what was that? You're going to be a father! <laughs> That's great. Really? I'm glad you think so. I love you! Yeah, <laughs> me too, you. I'm gonna be an uncle, I'm gonna be an uncle, I'm gonna be an uncle. Oh, and you my friends are royally. Huh? Ba -ba -ba ah, oh donkey, donkey, wake up. Ah! Shrek! Shrek! Are you okay? Oh! I can't believe I'm gonna be a father! How did this happen? Allow me to explain. You see, when a man has certain feelings for a woman, a powerful urge sweeps over him. I know how it happened! I just can't believe it. How does it happen? And the cat's in the cradle in the silver spoon. Little boy blue in the man. Pick up. Little boy blue in the man in the moon. When you coming home, son? I don't know when, but we'll get together then, Dad. Donkey, can you just cut to the part where you're supposed to make me feel better? You know, I love Fiona Boss, right? But what I'm talking about here is you. Me, my cousin's boat, an ice-cold pitcher of mojitos, and two weeks of nothing but fishing. Man, don't you listen to him. Have a baby, having a baby is not like going to ruin, it's not, pick up. Man, don't you listen to him. Having a baby is not going to ruin your life. It's not my life I'm worried about ruining. It's the kids. I mean, when have you ever heard the phrase, as sweet as an ogre? How about... You're gonna love my dad. He's a real ogre. Okay, okay, I get it. Nobody said it was going to be easy, but at least you got us to, to help you out. That's true. I'm doomed. You'll be fine. You're fuller. You're finished. Uh, with your journey. Worcestershire. Now that sounds fancy. It's Worcestershire. Like the sauce? Mmm, I'm. Sp it's spicy. Ooh, that must be us expecting. What in the Shistershire kind of place is this? Well, my stomach aches and my palms just got sweaty. Must be high school. High school. Ready? Okay. Where are thou headed to the top? Yeah, we think so. We think so. And dost thou think it thine can be stopped? Nay, we think not. We think not. Ah! All right, Mr. Percival, just ease up on those reins. <coughs> Flow, bro. 
Don't turn all my frankincense and myrrh. It's already starting to feel nauseous from memories of wedgies and swirlies. But how did you receive the wedgies when you were clearly not the wearer of underpants? Let's just say some things are better left unsaid and leave it at that. So when I was all, I'd rather get the Black Plague and lock myself in the Iron Maiden than go out with you. Uh, totally. Pardon me. Eh, totally, Iwith. Yeah, totally. Yes, I just altered my character level to plus three super ability. Hi, we're looking for someone named... Gee, who rolled a plus nine dork spell with some of the beast and his quadrupeds? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, I know you're busy not fitting in, but can either of you tell me where I can find Arthur? He's over there. Ha <laughs> ha! There is no sweeter taste in thy tongue than victory. Oh, right! Oh, oh, oh! Strong, handsome, fans face of a leader? Does Arthur look like a king or what? Ow! Oh, sorry. Did you just say you were looking for Arthur? That information is on a need-to-know basis. It's, to it's a top secret, hushy to hush. Now, gentlemen, let's away. To the showers! Oi, right! Oh, oh! Greetings, Your Majesty. This is your lucky day. So what for you are like supposed to be? Like some giant mutant leprechaun or something? Oh, ho, ho, ho. giant mutant leprechaun. You made a funny. Unhand me, monster. Stop screaming, Arthur. I am not Arthur. I'm Lancelot. That dork over there is Arthur. Hey! Ah. Ahem, this is like totally embarrassing, but my friend Tiffany thinkest thou vex her so soothly. <laughs> And she thought, perchance, thou would want to ask her to the homecoming dance or something? Uh, excuse me? It's totally like, whatever. She just totally into college guys and mythical creatures and stuff. Oh, Arthur! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Yeah, you better run, you little punk no-good nicks! Cause the days of little donkey dumping drawers are over! Hold it! We're here for the mascot contest. Grrr. Hmm. We're here for the mascot contest, too. Is this a costume? I working on it all night long. Looks pretty real to me. If it were real, could I do this? Oh, this? Uh, he's right. If it were real, that would have been apologizingly painful. Now watch this. That's quite enough, boys. Thank you to Professor Primbottom for his invigorating lecture on how to just say nay. And now, without further ado, let's give a warm Worcester huzzah to the winner of our new mascot contest, the Ogre? That's right, I'm the new mascot, so let's try and beat the other guys at whatever they're doing. This is indeed all a bit unorthodox. Now where can I find Arthur Pendragon? Classic. You should be ashamed of yourself. I didn't do it. They did. Please don't eat me. Eat him! Eat him! Eat him! I'm not here to eat him. Aww. Aww. It's time to pack up your toothbrush and jammies. You're the new king of far, far away. What? 
already a king, more like Mayor of Lutherville. <laughs> nice one, Lance. Burn! Is this for real? Absolutely. Now clean your locker, kid. You've got a kingdom to run. So wait, I'm really the only heir? The one and only. Give me just a second. My good people, I think there's a lesson here for all of us. Maybe the next time you're about to dunk a kid's head in the chamber pot, you'll stop and think, hey, maybe this guy has feelings. Maybe I should just cut him some slack, because maybe, just maybe, this guy's going to turn out to be a, I don't know, a king. And maybe his first royal decree will be to banish everyone who ever picked on him. That's right. I'm looking at you, jousting team. And Gwen. Oh, Gwen. I've always loved you. Ew. Well, good friends, it breaks my heart, but enjoy your stay here in prison while I rule the free world, baby! All right, all right, let's not overdo it. I'm building my city, people, on rock and roll! You just overdid it. Ow! <laughs> oh. oh! Look at you! Wow! You look darling. Just precious, look at her! So have you had any cravings since you've been pregnant? No, no, not at all. Do you smell ham? Ooh, it's present time. Oh, Fiona, won't you open mine first? It's the one in the front. Congratulations on your new mess maker. Oh, mess maker. Hopefully this helps. Love, Cinderella. Ooh, ah. ah. Will you take a look at, will you look at that? What is it? It's for the poopies. Ew, wait, babies poop? Everyone poops beauty. Pick up. Everyone poops beauty. Fiona. Fiona, we all chipped in for a little present too. Yeah. Ta-da. because I do. Oh, you guys. That's so sweet. Thank you. Who's this one from? I got you the biggest one I can pick up. I got you the biggest one I could. Oh, shit. Pick up. I got you the biggest one because I love you the most. Have one on me. Love Snow White. Um... What is this? Ha! Ha 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 ha! He's a lot living babysitter! Where's the baby? You're too kind, Snow, but I can't accept this. Think nothing of it. I've got sticks more at home. <laughs> what does he do? The cleaning. The feeding. The burping. So what do Shrek and I, so, <laughs> so what are Shrek and I supposed to do? Well, now you have plenty of time to work on your marriage. Gee, thanks, Rapunzel. And what's that supposed to mean? Oh, come on now, Fiona. You know what happens. Huh, you're tired all the time. You'll start letting yourself go. Stretch marks. Say goodbye to romance. Your. Um, sorry, but how many of you have kids? She's right. A baby is only going to strengthen the love of Shrek and Fiona have. How did Shrek react when you told him? Tell me! Well, when he first found out, Shrek said, Roar! Onward, my new friends! You are happily ever after. Ha 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 ha! Now, bombs away! <laughs> well, 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 if it isn't Peter Pan. His name's not Peter. Shut it, Wendy! Aww. Huh? 
<laughs> Enough pillaging! To the castle! Roar! You go and take care of the baby! Everybody stay calm, we're all going to die! <laughs> oh. Everyone in! Now! Come on! Put some back into it, people! Yeehaw! Ow! We don't have time! Go now! Quickly, ladies! We'll hold them off as long as we can! Where are Shrek and Fiona? Name doesn't ring a bell. Yeah! No bell. I suggest you freaks cooperate with the new king of far, far away. The only thing you'll ever be is king of... king of stupids! Hook! Right? Avast ye cookie! Start talking. Gingy! Papa! Settle down now. On the good ship Lollipop, it's a sweet trip to the candy shop where the bonbons play on the sunny beach peppermint bay. You! You can't lie! So tell me, puppet, where is Shrek? Uh, uh, I don't know where he's not! You're telling me you don't know where Shrek is? It, it wouldn't be inaccurate to assume that I couldn't exactly not say this or isn't almost partially incorrect. So do you know where he is? On the contrary, I'm possibly more or less not definitely rejecting the idea that it in no way, with any amount of uncertainty that... Stop it! I undeniably do or do not know where he shouldn't probably be. If that indeed wasn't where he isn't, even if he wasn't not where I knew he... Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Who wrote this? That wouldn't be completely not know where he wasn't. Script rewrite! <laughs> oh, enough! Shrek went off to bring back the next heir. Oh. He's bringing back the next heir? No! Hook, get rid of this new king. Right. But bring Shrek to me. I have something special in mind for him. He'll never fall for your tricks. Oh, boy. I can't believe it. Me, a king. I, I mean, I knew I came from royalty and all, but I just figured everyone forgot about me. Oh, no. In fact, the king asked for you personally. Really? Wow. Look, I know it's not all going to be fun and games. It really is all fun and games, actually. Sure, you have to knight a few heroes, launch a ship or two. By the way, make sure you hit the boat just right with the bottle. Boat with the bottle? Any idiot can hit a boat with a bottle. <laughs> well, I've heard it's harder than it looks. Whoa, this is going to be huge. Parties, princesses, castles, princesses. It's going to be great, Artie. You're going to be living the lap of luxury. They got all the finest chefs around waiting for you to place your order. Unfortunately, you'll have the royal food tasters. Oh, yeah? What do they do? They taste the food before the king eats to make sure it's not poisoned. Poisoned? Or too salty. Don't worry about it. You'll be safe and sound with the help of your bodyguards. Bodyguards? All of them willing at a moment's notice to lay down their life. Pick up. All of them willing at a moment's notice to lay down their own lives out of devotion to you. Really? See, and the whole kingdom will look to you for wisdom and guidance. Just make sure they don't die of famine. Or plague. Oh, plague is bad. The coughing, the groaning, the festering sores. Oh, the festering sores! Hey, you're the one funny kitty cat. What did I say? 
We don't want Artie here getting the wrong idea. Uh, Artie? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, there goes my hip. Artie! What are you doing? What does it look like? This really isn't up to you. But I don't know anything about being king. You'll learn on the job. Whoa! Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm going back. Back to what? Being a loser? Now look what you did! Look what I did? Who's holding the wheel, Chief? Shrek! Land ho! Giggity. <laughs> How could you yell at him? Oh, nice going, your highness. Oh, so now it's your highness. What happened to loser, huh? Hey, if you think this is getting you out of anything, well, it isn't. We're heading back to far, far away one way or another, and you're going to be a father. What? Uh, ahem, you just said father. You're, I said king. You're going to be king. You're going to be king. Yeah, right. Where do you think you're going? Far, far away from you. You get back here, young man, and I mean it. Uh, boss? I don't think he's coming back, and maybe it's for the best. He's not exactly king material. When were you planning on telling him you were really supposed to be king? Oh, come on. Now why would I do that? Besides, he'll be ten times better at it than me. Hey, whoa, 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 Shrek then you're going to have to change your tactic if you want to get anywhere with this kid. You're right, donkey. What about this? Shrek! Oh, come on, it's just a joke. Pick up. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. <laughs> Still. Listen, Artie. If you think this whole mad scene ain't dope, I feel you, dude. I mean, I'm not trying to get up in your grill and raise the roof or whatever. But what I'm screaming is, yo, check out this kazing kaz pick up. Yo, check out this kazing thazing bazabi. I mean, if it doesn't groove or what I'm try what I'm saying ain't straight tripping, just say, "Oh no, you didn't, you know." You're getting on about my last nerve. And then I'll know it's... Then I'll know it's whack. Somebody help! I've been kidnapped by a monster trying to relate to me! Artie, wait! Come on, come on! Help! Help! Hello? Ah! Greetings, cosmic children of the universe, and welcome to my serenity circle. Please leave any bad vibes outside the healing vortex. And now prepare! I knew I should have gotten that warranty. Ah! Oh, ow! 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 Uh, Mr. Merlin? You knew this guy? Yeah. He was the school's magic teacher until he had a nervous breakdown. Uh, technically, I was merely a victim of level three fatigue. And at the request of my therapist and the school authorities, I have retired to the tranquility of nature to discover my divine purpose. Now, can I interest anyone in a snack or beverage? Uh, no. Sure you don't want to try my famous rock au gratin? It's organic. Oh, thanks. I just ate a boulder on the way in. What we need are directions back to far, far away. What's with we? Who said I was going with you? Oh, I did. Because there's a lot of people counting on you. So don't try and weasel out of it. If it's such a great job, why don't you just do it? Understand this, kid. It's no more Mr. Nice Guy from here on out. Oh, so that was your Mr. Nice Guy? I know, and I'm going to miss him. You know what? Why don't you go terrorize a village and leave me alone? Oh, is that some kind of crack about ogres? 
You've got your royal highness into far, far away before I kick it there. Now, which way am I kicking? Oh, I could tell you, but since you're in the midst of self-destructive rage spiral, it would be karmically irresponsible. Self-destruction rage... Look, are you going to help us or not? Most definitely, but only after you take the journey of, to your... Pick up. Most definitely, but only after you take the journey to your soul. Yeah, I don't think so. Look, pal, it's either that or some primal scream therapy. Ah! All right, all right, journey to the soul. Now, all of you, look into this fire of truth and tell me what you see. Yaha! Ooh, charades. Okay, I see a Dutch fudge torte with cinnamon swirls. Okay, monster. Go for it. I see a rainbow pony. Excellent work. Now, the boy. This is lame. Ow. You're lame. Now just go for it. Okay, there's a baby bird and a father sitting in the nest. Yes, stay with it. Stay with it. Wait, the dad just flew away. Why did he leave the little bird all alone? It's trying to fly, but it doesn't know how. It, it's going to fall. Whoa, proper head case you are, aren't you? Really messed up. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. The bird's me. My dad left. So what? <coughs> Look, Artie. Um, just thought I helped my, pick up, just thought I might help set the mood, you know, for your big heart-to-heart -heart chat. I know what it's like not to feel ready for something. Even ogres get scared. You know, once in a while. I know you want me to be king, but I can't. I'm not cut out for it, and I never will be, all right? Even my own dad knew I wasn't worth the trouble. He dumped me at the school the first chance he got. And I never heard from him again. My dad wasn't really the fathery type either. Well, I doubt he was worse than mine. Oh, yeah? My father was an ogre. He tried to eat me. Now, I guess I should have seen it coming. But, oh, sorry. Now, I guess I should have seen it coming. He used to give me a bath and barbecue sauce and put me to bed with an apple in my mouth. <laughs> okay, I guess that's pretty bad. You know, it may be hard to believe what with my obvious charm and good looks, but people used to think that I was a monster. And for a long time, I believed them. But after a while, you learn to ignore the names people call you, and you just trust who you are. You know, you're okay, Shrek. You just need to do a little less yelling and, do a, a li and use a little more soap. <laughs> Thanks, Artie. The soap's because you stink really bad. Yeah, I got that. Oh, this place is filthy. I feel like a hobo. I'm sorry, but this is just isn't working for me. Everything's always about you, isn't it? It's not about... Pick up. It's not like your attitude is helping Snow. Well, maybe it just bothers you that I was voted fairest in the land. You mean in that rigged election? Oh, give me a break. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let thy golden extensions. Ladies, let go of your petty complaints and let's work together. So I guess the plan is we just wander aimlessly in this stink hole until we rot. No, we're going to get inside and find out what Charming is up to. I know he's a jerk and everything, but I gotta admit, that Charming makes me hotter than July. Ew. Ugh. That's it. Come on, this way. Rapunzel, wait. Charming, let go of her. 
But why would I want to do that? Uh, Woof. What? Say hello, ladies, to the new queen of far, far away. Yay! Rapunzel, how could you? Jealous match. Soon you'll be back where you started, scrubbing floors and locked away in towers. That is, if I let you last the week. But Pookie, you promised you wouldn't hurt them. Not here, Kitten Whiskers. Daddy will decide it later. Now, forgive us, we have a show to put on. Shrek will be back soon, Charming, and you'll be sorry. Sorry? Don't you realize, once Shrek sets foot far, far away, he's doomed. <coughs> Ow! Ah! Look out! They've got a piano! Kill them all, except the fat one. King Charming has something special in mind for you, Ogre. King Charming? Attack! Ah! Artie! Duck! Ah! Ha ha! Ah! Arr, arr! Ready the plank! Shrek! Help! You cowards! What has Charming done with Fiona? She's gonna get what's coming to her. Ah! And there ain't nothing you can do to stop him. We've got to save her. But she's so far, far away. Get yourself back to Worcestershire, kid. No, Shrek. Hold on a second. I've gotten an idea. I'm a buzzing bee. Buzz, 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 buzz. Mr. Merlin, they need a spell to get them, I mean, us, back to far, far away. Forget it. I don't have that kind of magic in me anymore, kid. How about a hug instead? Hmm? That's the best kind of magic. Mr. Merlin, please. I know you can do it. I said forget it! But... Here are my healings. Oh, what's with you? It's just so hard, you know? They really need to get back. Because their king's in trouble, because there's really bad man. It's just so hard. Come on, take it easy! No, I don't think you understand. There's a mean person doing mean things to good people. Oh, have a heart, old man. And they really need your help to get them back. So why won't you help them? Oh. Uh, okay. I'll go and get my things. Piece of cake. Well, well, well. You want some eggs with that ham? Now, I am a little rusty, so there's... Now, I'm a little rusty there, so there could be some side effects. Side effects? Don't worry. Whatever it is, no matter how excruciatingly painful it is, it'll wear off eventually. I think. Ah! Whoops! Are you sure this is a good idea? Look, if Artie trusts him, that's good enough for me. Even if his robe doesn't quite cover his... Aliquotatious Expeditious! Zoomy zoom zoom! Let's help our friends get back, uh, soon! Whoa! It worked! Uh, uh. Oh man, I haven't been on a trip since like this since college. Donkey? What? Is there something in my teeth? Huh? What the? Oh no! I've been abracadabbered into a fancy feasting second rate sidekick! At least you don't look like some kind of bloated roadside pinata. At least you should think. Pick up. You really should think about going on a diet. Yeah, and you should think about getting yourself a pair of pants. I feel all exposed and nasty. Oh, you two think this is funny. I'm really sorry, guys. Don't be. You got us back, kid. Ow, 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 ow. How in the Hana Krishna Anderson am I gonna supposed to... Pick up. 
Ow, 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 ow. How in the Hans Christian Andersen am I supposed to get to parade around here in these goofy boots? Be very careful with those. Hee-haw. They were made in Madrid by the finest hee-haw. <laughs> yeah, and you should think about getting yourself a pair of pants. I feel all exposed and nasty. Mm. Oh, you'll learn to control that. Seriously, man, you need some comfort inserts or art supports or something. Whoa! Woohoo! Hey, watch it. I'm walking here, and I'm gonna keep going. Pinocchio? Shrek! Pinocchio! Help me! What hap- what- Pick up. What's happened? Charming and the villains have over Pick up. Charming and the villains have taken over everything. They attacked us, but Fiona and the princess has got away, and now she's She's what? She's what? Puss, loan me five bucks. Come on, Puss, you heard the man. Help a brother out. Do you see any pockets on me? Hold on a second. Shrek! Pinocchio! <laughs> Same page. Aha! I had no idea. Really, I swear. Quick, Pinocchio, where's Fiona? Charming's got her locked away in some map pl- Pick up. Charming's got her locked away in some place secret. You gotta find him. He's probably getting ready for the show. Wait, wait, wait. Pinocchio, what show? It's a happily ever after, after all. Shrek's pi final performance. Whoa, Shrek! You didn't tell us we were in a play. Well, I guess I've been so busy I forgot to mention it. It's the ogre! Get him! Don't worry, Hefe. I got this. Ugh! Kill it! Look, I don't know how... Pick up. Look! I don't know who you th Um, pick up. Look, don't you know who he thinks he is? How dare you? Donkey, we're dealing with amateurs. He's a star, people. Hello? I'm so sorry about this, Mr. Shrek. I'm gonna lose it. I assume you have everything ready for tonight. Did you get the list for the dressing room? Yeah, the breakfast croton stuff with seared my sis Pick up. Yeah, the breakfast croutons filled with seared sashimi tuna. Oh, and please tell me you have at least the saffron corn with the jalapeno honey butter because our client cannot get into his proper emotional state without his jalapeno butter. But his jalapeno butter. His jalapeno honey butter. I just lost it. Uh, maybe we should talk to Nancy and Human Resources. Oh, we'll have mo so much to say to Nancy. I promise. With this sword, I do... No. With this sword, I do smote thee. <coughs> Is that the right word? Smote? Smoot? Is that even a word, actually? Maybe I should just smite him. Let's try this again. Now! Shrek attacks me. I pretend to be afraid. Ooh! I say, finally the kingdom will get the happily ever after they deserve. Die, ogre, blah, 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 blah. Oh, it just doesn't feel right. Pick up. Oh, it just doesn't feel real enough yet. Who told you to stop dancing? Uh, wink and turn, wink and turn. And what are you laying around for? Get up! Honestly. Our happily ever after is nearly complete, Mummy, and I assure you the people of this kingdom will pay dearly for every second we've had to wait. Break a leg, or on second thought, let me break it for you. Thank goodness you're here. I was beginning to think you might not make it back in. Time. Where's Fiona? Don't worry. 
She and the others are safe. For now. Ow! Let me guess. Arthur. It's Artie, actually. This boy is supposed to be the new king of Far, Far Away? How pathetic. Now stand still, and I won't make a mess. Charming, stop! I'm here now. You got what you wanted. This isn't about him. Then who's it about? I'm supposed to be king, right? You weren't really next in line for the throne, okay? I was. But you said the king asked for me personally. Not exactly. What's that supposed to mean? Look, I said whatever I had to say, all right? I wasn't right for the job. I just needed some fool to replace me, and you fit the bill. So just go. You were playing me the whole time? You catch on real fast, kid. Maybe you're not such a big of a loser as I thought. You know, for a minute there, I actually thought you... What? That he cared about you? He's an ogre! What did you expect? You really have a way with children, Shrek. Had we just put stayed put, just like I suggested, we couldn't be we could be sipping tea or pick up. Had we just stayed put, like I suggested, we could be sipping tea out of our fucking Snow White. Pick up. Had we just stayed put, like I suggested, we could be sipping tea out of our little heart-shaped cups. Yeah, yeah, heart-shaped cups. Eating crumpets smothered with Logan berries. Yeah, Logan berry. Shut up, Cindy. Yeah, shut up. No, you shut up. Just stay out of this. Who cares who's running? Pick up. Who cares who's running this kingdom anyway? I care. And you should all care too. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, and I have your badge number 10 can. Shut up, phone. Donkey? Princess! Puss? Lo siento, princesa, but I am puss, stuck here inside this hideous body. And I'm in, and I, pick up, and I'm me! But you're... I know, I know, everything's a little fruity in the loops right now. But what happened is, we went to high school, the boat crashed, and got bibbity bobbity booped by the magic man. You poor things. I don't get it. The cat turned into a little horse that smells like feet. What's to get? Huh? Who that? Where's Shrek? Charming's got him. Pick up. Charming's got him, princess. Pick up. Charming's got him, princess. And he plans on killing Shrek tonight in front of the whole kingdom. All right, everyone. We need to find a way out now. You're right. Ladies, assume the positions. What are you doing? Waiting to be rescued. You've got to be kidding me. Well, what do you expect us to do? We're just four, I mean three super hot princesses, two circus freaks, a pregnant ogre, and an old lady. Hmm, excuse me. What was that? Pick up. Hmm, excuse me. Old lady coming through. Hi! -ya! Whoa! Whoa! Mom? Well, you didn't actually think you got your fighting skills from your father, did you? Excuse me, I think there's still one more. Hmm. Hi -ya! Why don't you just lie down? Okay, girls, from here on out, we're going to take care of our business ourselves. Giggity. <laughs> they get naked. Okay, no, pillow fight. Ladies and gentlemen, the Far, Far Away Theater at the Charming Pavilion is proud to present It's a Happily Ever After After All. Enjoy your th Evening theatrical reverie, citizen. Oi, no food or beverages in the theater. Hey! Ow! 
Oh, easy. Sorry. I guess I was just showing off for the little one. Huh? It's bring your kids to work day. Come here, beautiful. Well, she's got your eye. Who would have thought like a monster like me deserves something as special as you? Ah, ah, ha, 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 ha. Little birdies take wing, fling down from trees, they appear to chirp in my ear. All because I sing, <laughs> Move it! Go, go, go! My babies! Help! Ow! Hey! Oh, wait. Hey, how's it going? O to the K, the coast has cleared. All right, people, let's do this thing. Go Team Dynamite! I thought we agreed to go by the name of Super Team Super Cool. As I recall, it was all it was Team Awesome. I voted for Team Alpha Wolf Squadron. All right, all right, all right. From henceforth, we pick up. All right, all right, all right. From henceforth, we are to be known as Team Alpha Super Awesome Cool Dynamite Wolf Squadron. Octolieber, there is some strange little girl over there staring at us. Artie! Wait, 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 wait. Hey, where is the fire, senor? Oh, please, don't act so innocent. You both knew what was going on the whole time, and you kept it to yourselves. Artie, it's not like it seems. It's not? I think it seems pretty clear. He was using me. That's all there is to it. Using you? Man, you don't... Pick up. Using you? Man, you really don't get it. Shrek only said those things to protect you. Charming was going to kill you, Artie. Shrek saved your life. Kill the spot. <laughs> I wait up here, I'm trapped another day, locked up here, please set me free. My new life I almost see, a castle, you and me. Yes, a castle, you and me. Cherubs. Tis I, tis I, upon my regal steed, princess my love, at last you shall be freed. I'm strong and brave and dashing my way there. With speed, with might, with soft, bouncy hair. Through the blistering desert. Hot. Across stormy seas. Wet. Giggity. <laughs> Facing creatures so vile. Foul. So you can gaze upon me. I knew you'd come for me, and now we finally meet. I knew you'd wait, and from my plate of love you'd eat. Roar! Roar! Who is this terrible, ugly fiend who has so rudely intervened? Will Charming fight, or will he flee? Oh, please rescue me! From this monstrosity. Fear thee not, honey lamb. I will slice this thing up like ham. Oh, boy. You are about to enter a world of pain with which you are not familiar. Well, it can't be any more painful than the lousy performance you're giving. Prepare, foul beast. Prepare, foul beast. Your time is done. Oh, if you don't mind, could you kill me and then sing? Be quiet. Oh, come on, I'm just having fun with you. That's actually a very nice leotard. Thank you. Do they come in men's sizes? <laughs> now that be funny. Enough! Now you'll finally know what it's like to have everything you've worked for. 
everything that's precious to you taken away. Now you'll know how I felt. Ah! Roar! Sausage roll! Arm! Pray for mercy from... Puss! And donkey! Hey! Hi, honey. Sorry we're late. You okay? Much better now that you're here. Aww. So charming. You want to let me out of these so we can t settle this ogre to man? Ooh, that sounds fun. But I have a better idea. He poops out a gumball. <laughs> <laughs> Fiona! No! Let go of me! You will not ruin things this time, Oga. Kill it! Everybody stop. <coughs> oh, what is it now? Artie? Who really thinks we need to settle things this way? You're telling me you just want to be villains your whole lives? But we are villains. It's the only thing we know. Didn't you ever wish you could be something else? Well, it's easy for you to say. You're not some evil enchanted tree. You morons! Don't listen to him! Attack them! Uh, what Steve's trying to say here is that it's hard to come by innocent work when the whole world's against you. Right. Thanks, Ed. Okay, fair enough. You're right. But I'm not talking tree. Uh, I, I'm not a talking tree, but you know, a good friend of mine once told me that just because people treat you like a villain, or an ogre, or just some loser, it doesn't mean you are one. The thing that matters most is what you think of yourself. If there's something you really want, or someone you really want to be, then the only person standing in your way is you. Me? Get him, lads! No, no, no. What I mean is, each of you is standing in your own way. Oh! I've always wanted to play the flute! I'd like to open up a spa in France. I grow daffodils. And they're beautiful! A new era finally begins. Now, all of you, bow before your king. Ahem. You need to work on your aim. This was supposed to be my happily ever after. Well, I guess you need to keep looking. Because I'm not giving up mine. Mommy. It's yours if you want it, you know. But this time, it's your choice. Hardy. Arty, Arty. Um, excuse me, that's my seat. Okay, Senior Hocusy Pocusy, the time has come to rectify some wrongage. Although I have been enjoying these cat baths. Oh, you say you didn't. Uh, all right, all right, look. You're gonna feel a little pinch and possibly some lower intestinal comfort, but this should do the trick. Are you? I'm me again. And I am not you. All right. Oops. Ah, uh, never mind. What I tell you? I think the kid's going to be a great king. Well, for what it's worth, you would have to. I have something much more important in mind. <coughs> Sex. Ah, <laughs> uh, finally. Hey, I smell Shrek Jr. Ew. <laughs> Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy boy! Hey! Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Where's the baby? <laughs> well, what shall we do now? <sighs> 
I got it. The end. The end. <laughs> On the surface, I once bought a forest. The parasites claimed that the land belonged to God and demanded that they establish a public park there. Why? So the rabble could stand slack-jawed under the canopy and pretend that canopy... Oh. Pick it up. Under the canopy and pretend that it was paradise earned. When Congress moved that to nationalize my forest, I burnt it to the ground. God did not place the seeds of Arcadia. I did. I know I cannot raise my hand against you, but know this. You are my greatest disappointment. Does your master hear me? Atlas, you can kill me, but you will never have my city. My strength is not in steel and fire. That is what the parasites will never understand. A season for all things. A time to die and a time to live. A time to build and a time to destroy. Ian O'Hara, Elite Commander. There was only one. Yes, the demon. Ian O'Hara, Prophet of Truth. One, are you sure? There will always be moments of crisis when honor matters less than swift resolution. Ian O'Hara, Hasmina. My name's Hasmina. The Mysterium sent me here, but I would have come anyway. They got my sister. I was too late. But I learned something, something useful, while I was exacting some revenge. The three towers are where the Argons store all their life energy, where they extract people like my sister. Then that monstrous bird creature delivers the energy to each Argon encampment. Thanks to you, this tower is useless to them. I could stay and kill more Argons, of course. But that not, pick up. But that's not going to bring my sister back. We should report to Kaya. After all, we actually have good news for once. Ian O'Hara, voiceover. He's a talented musician who never knew his father, but when his father dies in a mysterious mining accident, he learns more about his family than he ever could imagine. Southern Cross. Today on Regis and Kathy Lee, <laughs> for the past nine years they've been talked to... <sighs> Pick up. Today on Regis and Kathy Lee, for the past nine years, they've been the talk of the town. On Tuesday morning, live. Remember when that one Christmas gift you just had to have? You tried so hard to be perfect, but it didn't quite work out. See Alice. That's it. Ian O'Hara, voiceover. Children who lose their parents are all alone. The world seems dark and scary. There's no greater gift for these children than a helping hand. And for tens of thousands of orphans, that help comes from Ashinaga. Born five decades ago in Japan, Ashinaga provides funding for education and f pick up. Ashinaga provides funding for education and psychological counsel. Ashinaga itself has someone to turn to. Generous supporters in Japan and around the world. Morgan Stanley Tokyo was moved to help, so in 2005, they joined the work of Ashinaga. The firm's employees help the children understand and connect with the global community. First, with camps provide, pick up. First, with camps for orphans from around the world. Then, with English language workshops to sharpen communication skills. Six years later, the firm helped Ashinaga pick up. Six years later, the firm helped Ashinaga respond to its biggest challenge, the Great East Japan Earthquake and Tsunami. Morgan Stanley made a generous donation and helped Ashinaga raise money 
for Times Square. Pick up. And helped Ashinaga raise money in Times Square. Today, Ashinaga is extending help to aid to orphans in Africa and others in need around the world. Their dream is that every child who loses a parent will find someone to make their future brighter. Inohira, Defiance, voiceover. Seventeen years ago, war nearly consumed this planet. Only through the actions of a few brave soldiers did we survive. Now here we are again, standing on the brink. Join me to protect the future. Join the defiant few. Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Thanks for volunteering. You don't know how much this means to us. I tried warning those boneheads in the Earth Republic, but they won't listen. They don't trust anyone who isn't wearing the uniform. Pick up. They don't trust anyone who isn't wearing their uniform. Pick up. They don't trust anyone who isn't wearing their uniform, even someone who's risking their own neck to save them. At this point, I'll take all the help I can get, even if that means breaking you out of Camp Reverie. Look, I don't know what you did to piss off the E-Rep, and frankly, I don't care. I need a skilled arc hunter, and you need my help. Because let's face it, you don't stand a skitterling's chance if we don't get you out of that cell. Lucky for you, I've got an associate inside the prison. While you were unconscious, he fitted you with an ego device. It's this little gizmo in your brain that gives you certain so we sh pick up. It's this little gizmo inside pick up. It's this little gizmo in your brain that gives you certain, shall we say, abilities. It also allows us to communicate across hundreds of miles. But even with the ego, busting out of the reverie will be stupid dangerous. But, unless you'd prefer to rot in there, that's a risk you're going to have to take. Spawn. As in hell, Spawn. You're a killer. Born and bred. You see violence. You act. Don't worry about Wanda. Your old pal Terry is putting it to her. I like to watch. Gets me off. Ooh, just thinking about it gets me so hot. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. My boss and you made a deal, and I'm here to make sure you hold up your end of the bargain. Want a lick? It's Rocky Road. So here's a piece of advice from me to you. Get with the fucking program. Oh, and if you screw this up, asshole, you don't get no goddamn ice cream. That's good for me. Ian O'Hara, Captain Starko. Every superhero has his kryptonite. Mine is donuts. I am Captain Starko, and my secret identity is Clark Wayne. Don't tell anybody. But if I win this grand prize, I will give it to the poor, except for a few dollars. I need to pick up. If I win the gr pick up. If I need pick up. If I win this grand prize, I will give it to the poor. Except for a few dollars. I need that for a gym membership. I can't wait to get this grand prize. I really need to dry clean this costume. If I can conquer this course, imagine what I could do to my neighborhood villains. I'm here to be a role model for overweight superheroes everywhere. Captain Starko never loses. Except to cookies, cakes, and pies. I need that grand prize. Pick up. I need that grand prize money to pay for my ice cream. Hey, it's for a good cause. Ian O'Hara, Dust Fairy Stella. I'm going to fly through this course. I'm a fairy after all. I like the Tooth Fairy, except much more helpful. Have you ever heard of fairy dust? Well, I'm the fairy who has to clean up all that garbage. <laughs> I'd tell my opponents to eat my dust. <clears throat> but I'd probably clean it up long before they get to it. Some fairies grant wishes. I clean up the dust. It's not glamorous, 
but I'm just grateful to have a job. This course is going to be, whoops. Oh God, I'm so drunk. This course is going to sparkle when I'm done with it. I can't wait to win the prize money and buy a really high-end vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Most people have never heard of Dust Fairy Stella. All oh, that's about to change. This course is filthy. You people should be ashamed. Shame on you. Shame on you. Ian O'Hara, disclaimer. Do not take Cialis if you take medicines called nitrates, use recreational drugs called poppers like amyl nitrate and butyl nitrate, are allergic to Cialis and Acura. Wait, that's an anime. Pick up. Are allergic to Cialis and Acerca, Tadafil, or any of its ingredients. Call your healthcare provider or get help right away if you experience any symptoms of allergic reactions such as rash, hives, swelling of the lips, tongue and throat, or difficulty breathing or swallowing. Giggity. Stop sexual activity and get medical help right away if you get symptoms such as chest pain, dizziness, or nausea during sex. Sexual activity can put extra strain on your heart. <laughs> oh my god. Especially if your heart is already weak from a heart attack or heart disease. Cialis is not right for everyone. Only your healthcare provider and you can decide if Cialis is right for you. Ask your healthcare provider if your heart is healthy enough for you to have sexual activity. Before taking Cialis, tell your healthcare provider about your all your medical problems, particularly if you've had ever shit. Pick up. Before taking Cialis, tell your healthcare provider about all your medical problems, particularly if you have or ever had heart problems such as chest pain, angina. Hey, my grandmother had that. Heart failure, irregular heartbeats, or have had a heart attack. High or low blood pressure, or high blood pressure uh, that is not controlled. That is not controlled. Pick up. High or low blood pressure, or have high blood pressure that is not controlled. Stroke. Liver or kidney problems, or require dialysis. Retinous uh, pigmentosa, a rare genetic, runs in families. Uh, eye d disease. Severe vision loss, including a condition called nion. Stomach ulcers or the bleeding or a bleeding problem. Who oh am I? A deformed penis shape. Ha ha ha! Funny. Or a Pyrion's disease, an erection that lasted more than four hours. Oh my! Blood cell problems such as sickle cell anemia, multiple myeloma, or leukemia. You're screwed then. Tell your healthcare provider about all the medicines you take, especially if you take nitrates, alpha blockers, blood pressure medications, medicines for HIV or some types of oral and antifungal medications, some types of antibiotics. Shit. Pick up. Some types of antibiotic. Shit. Pick up. Sometime. Pick up. Some types of antibiotics, such as whatever that says, whatever that says, and whatever that says. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Other medicines or treatments for erectile dysfunction, ED. Why the hell are you taking this? Ian O'Hara, host, man, announcer. Aloha. Welcome to the Looney Luau. Mala, lace for the a-holes. Get the big ones, because they got some serious opos. So, you two lovebirds ready to chomp down on some yummy island poo-poos? Your first stop is the poo-poo waterfall. Every kind of island goodie coming at you full speed down the chute in the banana leaf outriggers. You grab what you want and gobble up the best. Little tip, the fried wonton is the easiest to catch coming by. You know what? I'd stay away from the loomy loomy. The opacapa is the best bet. The wahina over there digging her fingernails into it. Pick up. The wahina over there digging her fingers into her grass skirt had the loomy loomy. Have a great time. Bustin' opo. Well, for Pete's sake, Midge, it's Hawaiian, don't you know? Oh, we might take a look-see at it here then. Now, now, quiet, Midge, quiet. When in Rome, you know, when in Rome. Travel agents. Come to find out we need them. 1888-TRAVEL. I know, there's an extra letter, but it's a lot easier to remember travel than travel A. 
Ian O'Hara, Anansi. Roger, Wolf 5, reading you loud and clear. Romulus will be at the rendezvous p pickup. Roger, Wolf 5, reading you loud and clear. Romulus will be at the rendezvous point in three. Told you it would fit right in. Don't give me that look. I know how to choose my crew. After all, I chose you, didn't I? Kane, what we're doing is important. More important than the feelings. Even the lives of six little people. But that doesn't mean I don't care. That I don't. Proximity alert. We've got vipers on our tail. Man the guns. The tyranny can't know we were here. Ian O'Hara, voiceover. He's a talented musician who never knew his father, but when his father dies in a mysterious mining accident, he learns more about his family than he could ever imagine. Southern Cross. Regis and Kathy Lee, for the past nine years, they've been the talk of the town. On Tuesday morning, live. Remember that pick up? Remember that one Christmas gift you just had to have? You tried so hard to be perfect, but it just didn't pick up. Remember, pick up. Remember that one Christmas gift you just had to have? You tried so hard to be perfect, but it didn't quite work out. Ian O'Hara, voiceover. Hey, dudes and dudettes, you know there's something about these hot summer days that calls for an ice cold Mountain Dew. That cool, fresh, lemony taste. Yeah, there's just nothing quite like it. Working out here on. Pick up. Working out here in the hot sun all day can really get to you after a while. That's why the refreshing feeling I get... Pick up. That's why the refreshing feeling that I get from a Mountain Dew is worth more to me than almost anything at all. Take it from me. Mountain Dew is the cool refresher you'll have time and time again, bros and brodettes. Mountain Dew. The soft drink that stands by itself. Yeah. Ian O'Hara, voiceover. Children who lose their parents are all alone. The world seems dark and scary. There's no greater gift for these children than a helping hand. And for tens of thousands of orphans, that hand comes from Ashinaga. Born five decades ago in Japan, Ashinaga provides funding for education and psychological counseling. Pick up. Born five decades ago in Japan, Ashinaga provides funding for education and psychological counsel around the world. Slate, Ian O'Hara, voiceover. Children who lose their parents are all alone. The world seems dark and scary. There's no greater gift for these children than a helping hand. And for tens of thousands of orphans, that hand comes from Ashinaga. Born five decades ago in Japan, Ashinaga provides funding for education and psychological counsel around the world. Pick up. Yeah, I'm missing a line. I'm missing a line. Okay. Let me do it over. I think I got it. Ian O'Hara, Hazel Von Robonuts. If you think I'm just a squirrel, perhaps you've overlooked my homemade robot. Seriously, my name is Hazel Von Robonuts. It kind of makes sense that I have a robot. Squirrels? Not scary. Robots? Not scary either. A squirrel in a robot? Very scary. I am the first squirrel to pilot a robot. But if I succeed, I won't be the last. A squirrel inside of a robot. Trip on that. When I win a wipeout, America will know the true power of squirrels. Squirrel army. I will win this course. And the world will kneel before the Squirrel Kingdom. What do we want? Squirrel rights. When do we want them? Now. Squirrels just want to have fun. Ian O'Hara, Anansi. Roger, Wolf 5, reading you loud and clear. Romulus will be at the rendezvous point in three. Pick up. Roger, Wolf 5, reading you loud and clear. Romulus will be at the rendezvous point in three. Told you we'd fit right in. Don't give me that look. I know how to choose my crew. After all, I choose... Pick up. I chose you, didn't I? Kane, what we're doing is important. More important than the feelings. 
even the lives of six little people. But that doesn't mean I don't care that I don't pick up. But that doesn't mean I don't care that I don't. Proximity alert! We've got vipers on our tail! Man the guns! The tyranny can't know we were here! Ian O'Hara, voiceover. Tonight we're rolling out the red carpet for a WVIP. The Prez makes a pit stop. Dinner is served. Okay. Ian O'Hara, voiceover. Tonight, we're rolling out the red carpet for WVIP. The Prez makes a pit stop. Dinner is served. Woohoo! Remember that one Christmas gift you just had to have? You tried so hard to be perfect, but it didn't quite work out. He's a talented musician who never knew his father, but when his father dies in a mysterious mining accident, he learns more about his family than can pick up. He's a talented musician who never knew his father, but when his father dies in a mysterious mining accident, he learns more about his family than he can ever imagine. Southern Cross. Ian O'Hara, voiceover. Children who lose their parents are all alone. The world seems dark and scary. There's no greater gift for these children than a helping hand. And for tens and thousands of orphans, that hand comes from Ashinaga. Born five decades ago in Japan, Ashinaga provides funding for education and psychological counseling. Ashinaga itself has someone to turn to. Generous supporters in Japan and around the world. Morgan Stanley Tokyo was moved to help. So in 2005... Wait, pick up. Morgan Stanley Tokyo was moved to help. So in 2005, they joined the work of Ashinaga. The firm's employees help the children understand and connect with the global community. First, with camps for orphans from around the world. Then with English language workshops to sharpen communication skills. Six years later, the firm helped Ashinaga respond to its biggest challenge, the Great East Japan Earthquake and Tsunami. Morgan Stanley made a generous donation and helped Ashinaga raise money in Times Square. Today, Ashinaga is extending help to AIDS orphans in Africa and others in need around the world. Their dream is that every child who loses a parent will find someone to make their future a little brighter. Ian O'Hara, Hazel Vaughn, Robonuts. Sun chips. My chips are made with solar power. No wonder why I feel warm and pick up. My chips are made with solar power. No wonder I feel warm inside. In California, sun chip snacks are made with the help of the sun. As if you needed another reason to love them. Live brightly. Start with sun chips. My chips are made with solar power. No wonder I feel warm inside. In California, sun chip snacks are made with the help of the sun. As if you need another reason to love them, live brightly. Start with sun chips. My chips are made with solar power. No wonder why I feel warm inside. In California, Sun chip snacks are made with the help of the sun. As if you need another reason to love them. Live brightly. Start with sun chips. No. Thank you, though. 
thank God. Eno Hera, voiceover. Wolfson's Children's Hospital. Hang up. Wolfson's Children's Hospital is not. God damn it. Slate, Ian O'Hara, voiceover. Wolfson Children's Hospital is a not for profit hospital that relies on donations from the community. Thanks to the generosity of donors, our nationally recognized doctors and nurses are helping kids to overcome life threatening illnesses like leukemia, brain cancer, and diabetes. But they couldn't do it without the contributions from people like you. You have the power to change life for a lifetime. Please donate to Wolfson Children's Hospital today. Visit wolfsonchildrens.org backslash give or call 904-202-GIVE. That's 904-202-G-I-V-E. And give a little. Ian O'Hara, voiceover. He's a talented musician who never knew his father. But when his father dies in a mysterious mining accident, he learns more about his family than he can ever imagine. Southern Cross. Ian O'Hara, Anansi. But that doesn't mean I don't care. That I don't... Proximity alert! We've got vipers on our tail! Man the guns! The tyranny can't know we were here! Ian O'Hara, voiceover. He's a talented musician who never knew his father. But when his father dies in a mysterious mining accident... He learns more about his family than he can ever imagine. Southern Cross. Ian O'Hara, voiceover. Do not take Cialis if you take medicines called nitrate to use recreational drugs called poppers like amyl nitrate and butyl nitrate. Are allergic to Cialis and Excedra. Tata pickup. Are allergic to Cialis or Edcerca or any of its ingredients. Call your healthcare provider to get help right away if you experience symptoms of an allergic reaction, such as rash, hives, swelling of the lips, tongue or throat, or difficulty breathing or swallowing. Stop sexual activity and get medical help right away. If you get the symptoms such as chest pain, dizziness, or nausea during sex, sexual activity can <laughs> giggity, uh, pick up. Sexual activity can put an extra strain on your heart, especially if your heart is already weak from a heart attack or a heart disease. Cialis is not right for everyone. Only your health pick up. Only your healthcare provider can pick up. Only your healthcare provider and you can decide if Cialis is right for you. Ask your healthcare provider if your heart is healthy enough for you to have sexual activity before taking Cialis. Tell your healthcare provider if pick up. Tell your healthcare provider pick up. Tell your health. Okay. <laughs>